Yo, 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 my name is Zuck. I see it, Zuck's man. I like to skate, so what, what, what? Don't hate. I want to be a professional skateboarder one day. Where's your skateboard? There it is. Drop in the ramp now. They all took lessons together and they, just, they were just coined the Pink Helmet Posse. Like, <laughs> where that name came from, I can't tell you an exact time, but it's like, oh, there's a Pink Helmet Posse. And then we look like, oh, that's, that's great. Let's make some stickers. be the best and they have so much fun doing it that they just kind of feed off each other and it's it's funny we talk about how the girls rotate like one will be at the top and then the next week the other one it's a constant rotation and they just thrive off each other it's really a neat thing yeah it's, it's rad and what I'm learning is there's no limits to what they can do like at certain times like there's no way they can do that there's no way she can do this. And she'll do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. Like, like what do I know? <laughs> you know? There's there's something to be said about, you know, the way that sometimes girls do things and the grace that they have and sometimes the flow that they have. And I've seen some some women pro skaters, they just flow so smoothly. And and some of the men they force things. You know, and, it, and it's all about power and strength and how much air, but they don't flow. In terms of not quitting after they fall, we really make it kind of a priority that they need to get back up and try again. You know, we never ask them to do something that we think that they're not ready to try at least, or we think that they could hurt themselves doing, you know, but, you know, other than a couple broken fingers, we haven't had any major incidents, and, you know, and in a lot of it is just, um, uh, encouraging them that we believe in them and that they can they can do it and to at least give it a shot. Yeah, we're the brother of the Pink Helmet Posse. But the reason I don't like the Pink Helmet Posse the most is because uh, one of them is my little sister and little sisters and big brothers don't go well together. They're doing all this stuff but they get way too much attention for it. Yeah. Like everyone's paying attention to them and we can't and basically we're just lone wolves now. I think that more and more it's becoming a mainstream sport, which, you know, some people don't want it to ever become that. You know, they want to have their own little niche in society. It's like, this is where I go to be cool. You know, I mean, my, all my cool friends, you know. But it's, it's changing, and it's, there's no stopping it, you know. And I think with that change, there'll be a lot more female skating. You know what I mean? Because it just proves that it's not a boy sport anymore. I mean, the girls are in tutu skating and they are girly skaters. They're not really tomboys. I think that's the best part about it. It's just showing you that anybody can do it. You really can. You don't have to be a boy. There were some comments on, on the Grind TV article and, and one of them was something in the regards of that's such bad parenting. You know, when are they supposed to learn how to be a girl? And, and we were just, I was baffled completely about this comment because, you know, if your girl's playing soccer or softball or something like that, it's the same thing. Skateboarding's just a sport, it's just another outlet. 
made a plan with my buddy, like, hey, bring your son, we're gonna go skate, let's meet up at the skate park. And his little boy is just a rad little kid, but he goes, dude, can she even skate? And like, just kind of bit my tongue, like, oh, you'll see. And then they went to this bowl to drop in, and she walked right up, dropped in, did her run. And he put his board up there and wouldn't do it. For a little girl to show up a little boy was pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know how Rels would take to it, but she actually just took to it and it was pretty much game on. And then she started going skating and she'd just hang out in the vert ramp and just fakey back and forth. And I, I really think that that helped her significantly because it, it just taught her her um, her balance exchange, and it taught her how to stay low and near the ramp, and um, and from to then keep on, her speed. And, and to keep her speed. And yeah. from then on, you know, she's she skates low, and she's always on her board, and she just has really really good balance. And she's just kept to it since then. reason why we started the Pink Counter Posse is to inspire people to go out there and have fun and we get emails and you know Instagram comments all the time on from boys and girls adults I mean everybody like wow you guys are ins you're inspiring me to do this and you know I you've inspired me to get my niece a skateboard and now she comes with me and just so much like and every day it's getting more and more. I like what you, they're doing. I, they're doing all this stuff but they get way too much attention for it. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool though that yeah. they're the, the six-year-old little girls are dropping in bowls and stuff. It's rad. Like bring them down. Encourage them. If they like it, take them. It's fun. Let's go. And if they really don't know anything about skateboarding, we're gonna start putting tutorials on our website, you know, so they can know the basics before they even go to a skate park. So then at least they'll start feeling a little bit better, you know, not as discouraged when they do go to a skate park and they can figure out things by watching the tutorials. We're gonna try and make these things just so you can get your foot in the door and make it real easy for you to take your kid and have fun. Um, yeah, I mean, it's fun. <laughs> Go. <laughs> it isn't going to look cute when you put that on. I know. Wait. Mine looks like really cute. I know, but it has to dry. It's not going to...